Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to drive the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. So, this should be the best shift pattern for this car. It's going to go on my uh, how to drive playlist. Alright, so if you want to see how to drive different cars, check that out. I think we can make this one be dyno. It's actually really, really easy to drive. It looks like the Mazda Miata, which is the Prestige Cup car this season, will not be out into the out into the 10x chance until sometime saturday or sunday so it's going to be late just so you guys know don't start trying to pull the prestige cup car yet because it's not in the crate okay all right so this thing we're going to let go of the gas just a little bit after one shortly after shift in the second gear good shift in the third good shift in the, good shift in the fourth hit your nitrous all right, all good shifts after that. Very easy car to drive. So let's go do it. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth. Oh, I totally screwed this up. I... Okay, let's try that again. Three, two, one, let go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. All right, very easy car to drive. It does shift a little bit fast. So I guess I shouldn't say very easy car to drive, but it's a pretty basic shift pattern. It just shifts a little quickly. I know not everybody likes the fast shifting cars. There we got a 12.751, and we got a dyno time of a 12.729. That time we did not beat our dyno, but if you get your shift just right, it will beat your dyno, okay? It's not easy to beat Dino on this car, but I have beat the Dino a couple times, if I remember correctly. So here we go. Let's give that another run. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. All right, I think that was a much better run there. On the last run, I might have buried the needle on one of those shifts. And... Uh, I'll show you how I have this tuned, which is only going to work good if your car is stage 5 with all the fusions. There we got a 12.712 with a dyno time of a 12.729, so this is beating dyno by just a little bit. It's not a huge dyno beater, but it does beat dyno. Alright, I find nitrous on 4th gear is the best. So a stage 5 car with all of the fusion parts installed. You're going to have your nitrous at 298 and 2.3. Transmission to 4.24. Tire pressure at 13 PSI. And that shows the 15 and 85 up at the top. So, very, very easy car to drive. I can't remember which part I actually tuned first on this one to get my tune. But, you know, if, if you don't know how to tune a car, make sure you check out my playlist for tuning. There's some really, really good videos on how to tune a car in there. You cannot just copy somebody else's tune unless your parts match theirs exactly. So, if you don't have stage 5, completely stage 5 with all the fusion parts installed, my tune is not going to be a good tune for your car. So, if you need to tune it yourself, which most of you probably will, make sure you check out my uh, video on tuning. That will show you exactly how I tune this car. And here we go. Let's do one more test run. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, and nitrous. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Saturday I'm going to try to stream the Made in America Philadelphia road trip or whatever that thing is called. All right, Saturday, instead of doing live racing or showdown... I'm probably going to do that. So I was a little bit slower. That was a bad run. I didn't get a good, very good run on that one. But you guys get the idea. That seems to be the best way to drive this particular car. It doesn't really seem to be a huge dyno beater, which is kind of a bummer. But you might be able to, you might be able to figure out a way to tune this car to beat its dyno time. I'm not really sure yet. It's brand new, but I've tried all kinds of different shift patterns in... The one I just showed you is the easiest. Early shift in the second, nitrous on fourth, okay? All good shifts. That seems to work really, really well. And it's definitely cool to get some nice free cars like this, okay? 
And there's also some park crates available for these, so make sure you're collecting your free crates. You don't want to miss out on that. If you go into the American Road Trip, I think I have already collected mine for today, but as you lock these cars in, these park crates are actually going to open up. So if you've locked something in, make sure you get those free crates. All right. Never forget to collect your free crates, guys. I don't think I don't think this is going to be a very good live racing car here, just for the fact that it uh, doesn't really beat Dino Time. But that's how you drive this thing. All right. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later. All right. See ya.